We're here at Hampton Court Palace, just outside central London. Once home to King Henry VIII, the palace today is known for its treasure trove of royal history. You lead me. Yes. So this is where the royal ceremonial dress collection lives. All this part of the Isabella Caraca curates all this. Thousands of items, all with some connection to royalty. You know, some people don't see clothes as something very special, but actually nothing is as personal and tells so many stories as clothes. And what stories? This is actually a hat from the court of Henry VIII. This is all silk, and we think it's about 1580s. This hat supposedly was tossed in the air by Henry VIII on a battlefield. 200 years later, the 1800s, what a grand time to be a peacock at court. Men wore pinks and blues and yellows and purple and lots of embroidery, decoration, high heels. Actually, high heels started with men and then women adopted it. The fabric of history spared no expense. All this embroidery, which is very, very fine, is made of silver thread, so actual silver. It's almost like coming to a party in a Ferrari, you know? Ah, sure. Every detail truly fit for a king. Actually, the king had diamond buttons in his suit, because he could. <laughs> this big boy here, <laughs> we're gonna peek. Okay. On special occasions, cost was no consideration. This is the coronation mantle of George IV in 1821, and it was the most expensive coronation ever. He was mindful, no doubt, of the splendid coronation earlier that century of the French emperor, Napoleon. All that George IV is doing here is proving to the world that the British nation is the strongest in that period. We defeated Napoleon, and we're gonna have everything bigger and grander. When it came to luxury, only one rule applied. Was there ever any danger of going over the top? Never, oh, you can never go over the top. No, you, you can never overdo it. Mm -hmm. 